Hey, welcome. My name is Martin. I'm the creator of Super Mega Space Game. Here is Game Dev Garage. I'm making Cocos Creator tutorials in this channel. Hit the subscribe and hit the bell to get notification when new uh, tutorials are released. So in this uh, quick uh, video, uh, short video, we are going to see how we can use a preload callback function in uh, Cocos Creator in any component. Actually, this is a little secret hidden in documentation. Let me show you here. Let's see the documentation. If you go to um, component class and check uh, methods, you will see a underscore underscore preload uh, function defined here, which will be called uh, before onload function for all components. Actually, this is uh, very useful uh, in components, but I didn't see any uh, good examples on this. Uh, actually, this is very simple and I will show you when it's very useful. Uh, you, you can normally use onload uh, to initialize uh, things in your component, but I usually uh, globalize some components in uh, uh, in game. For example, I have a main game controller here and have input control, audio sources, analytics control, monetization control, whatever you want. This will be a persistent node uh, to be able to uh, accessible for all scenes because this is a home home scene, a start scene of the game, and when I play the game, it will change the scene to uh, actual level scene. Let's see here. By the way, this is a small game I have made before. You can find the link in the corner to this gameplay and you can find the link in the description to play this game actually. When I hit this uh, button, it loads the level and uh, we just uh, start playing the game. Actually, main game control, input control and whatever I defined inside the main game control is still accessible. Uh, and uh, they uh, are not destroyed when uh, we load other scene. So uh, this is how I achieved. I defined the preload uh, underscore underscore preload function here and first I made this node uh, persistent persistent node, root node uh, and uh, I globalized this node as uh, I already defined SMSG which is super mega space game engine and I used that as uh, namespace in my games um, I just defined the main game control SMSG dot main game control this uh, that makes possible to uh, reach this uh, component anywhere in the game and uh, this makes this node uh, accessible from all uh, scenes and um, I initialize other things here uh, for example if you uh, if we use the onload function and uh, if for example we have monetization control we have analytics control input control whatever you call them if we used onload to uh, uh, make them globalize and if we want to uh, reach them from uh, on node function in main game control this will not be uh, working because first main game controls on load called then input controls on load function called and uh, like this uh, it has a script uh, execution order so every before everything uh, called on load uh, we can use the preload function to um, prepare things uh, we, we need to uh, make before onload so I will use it like this I uh, define uh, globalization things and uh, making the persistent node here same thing here in preload monetization control will be globalized and in analytics control also will be globalized in preload and no one calls each other in preload because in preload uh, they will may not be uh, still uh, defined as global variable later on we can use uh, everything in onload for example yeah for example in onload we can init handlers init handlers also hooks up some uh, listeners on uh, system uh, events and you can also hook up uh, other events on other co uh, components like for example if we have uh, an, we have an event in main game control for example if we have a pause event here 
so we can cc dot um, actually not cc sms g dot main game control dot um, node dot on game post yes uh, this dot game post yeah for example we can now reach main game controls node in on load function vice versa is valid for this example so we can also reach uh, other components um, in on load function in uh, main game control so this is just a simple example how we can use uh, underscore underscore preload function in cocos creator which unity doesn't have uh, that's all for now thank you for watching see you on next videos bye